Hello and welcome to this lesson on the phases of penetration testing. Why do we have phases in a penetration test? It's so that we follow a standardized methodology which you can rinse and repeat over time so that you can look at information trends as well as reporting which you can then compare to other penetration tests that other organizations or professionals have done. So in essence it is setting a standard methodology to conduct a penetration test and there are five phases to each. Let's look at them. The first phase is reconnaissance. This is then followed by scanning and that is in turn followed by gaining access. Gaining access is then followed by maintaining access and then finally we end up with covering our tracks. Let's look at each of these phases in detail. Firstly, reconnaissance. Reconnaissance is basically the first phase of the penetration testing framework and here we use the reconnaissance to gather preliminary data or intelligence on, on the target that we are assessing. Reconnaissance can be performed actively or passively. In other words, actively is where you're actually touching devices of the target, in other words, routers, endpoint servers, etc. Or passively, we're using publicly available information, DNS, systems and services that are nowhere near the, the actual target network. In this phase, you try and learn as much as possible about the target business and how it operates. And it includes things like identifying the target, finding out the target IP address range, the network, the domain name, the mail server, DNS records, etc. etc. So let's look at the actual tools in Kali Linux that you can use for reconnaissance. Firstly, passive discovery. If you recall, this is discovery using public information that does not touch the um, target network. Here we think basic things like a Google search will give you mountains of, of information, publicly available information such as social media accounts, um, as well as newspaper articles that are written by the target. Anything that you can find to give you more and more information about the target really becomes useful down the line. In Kali Linux, there's also a tool called uh, Recon NG, which, um, which does a very good job of actually collating all of this information for you. Active discovery involves touching actual endpoints of the actual network that you'll be penetrating. So let's look at some of the tools there. So Nmap is a scanning tool where you're going to actually scan for IP ranges, open ports, etc, etc, um, that you will be using in the next scanning phase to look for vulnerabilities. Um, there's also a very nice tool in Kali Linux called Sparta, which actually assists you in this active discovery phase and runs quite a few nice scripts so that you can see exactly and gain all the information you possibly could about the target before you actually start the scanning phase. Let's take a look at the scanning phase. The scanning phase involves scanning the perimeter and internal network devices and looking for weaknesses in those devices. And there you use technical tools to generally gather intelligence on your target about what systems they have in place and what services those systems are running. And involves things like scanning for services that are running, open ports, firewall detection, finding vulnerabilities, etc, etc. Let's take a look at some of the tools in Kali Linux. General vulnerability scanners in Kali Linux, there are a number of them, so I'm just going to try and cover just a very few in the slide. First of all, Nikto is a great web application vulnerability scanner, and we also have Sparta, which is a tool for scanning as well as finding vulnerabilities in network devices. Under the web app vulnerabilities, there are a number of tools, and just a few to mention here are Burp Suite, uh, W3AF, which is a tool that has been created by the OWASP Foundation, and WP Scan, which is a great tool to scan WordPress sites specifically. We also look at database vulnerabilities in the section, and there we use a tool called SQL Map. Let's look at gaining access. Gaining access involves uh, taking control of one or more network devices in order to either extract information of value 
or to use the network as a launch site for attacks against other targets and includes vulnerability exploitation, social engineering, etc. Let's look at some of the tools in Candy Linux that help us do this. First of all, password attacks. Password is probably the easiest way to gain access to a network. Um, guessing someone's password will give you access to exactly what that user has access to and is a great way of finding um, a foothold into a network when you are trying to gain access. Kelly has a few tools um, that assist in password attacks and they include John the Ripper, NCRAC and Hydra which is a great brute force password guessing tool. Then we look at wireless attacks. Wireless attacks is another way of trying to gain access, but it goes without saying that you would need close proximity to the actual target physical network so that you could actually try and join a wireless network so that you could gain access to that environment. Here we have two tools in Kali Linux. The first one is uh, Aircrack NG and uh, Revo, which is used to exploit WPS functionality in certain routers. Then there are general exploitation tools. Um, these are tools that look for vulnerabilities in applications and exploit them so that you could get a reverse shell, etc. Um, the tools here are Metasploit, which goes without saying. Armitage is basically a point and click, a very nice user interface for Metasploit. Um, and then, of course, there's a social engineering toolkit where you could use things like phishing attacks etc to try and gain access. Finally in the exploitation tools we have the beef cross-site scripting framework where you can craft cross-site scripting attacks against vulnerable web applications. And then finally another way of trying to gain access is to sniff network traffic. Obviously this means you would have to be on the actual local network and there we use tools like uh, Wireshark as well as um, man in the middle proxy which assists you in gaining access and sniffing certain network channels. Let's take a look at maintaining access. Having gained access, you should now take the steps involved in being able to maintain access long enough in order to gather as much data as possible. In this phase, you must remain stealthy so as to not get caught while using the host environment and it includes things like privilege escalation, backdoor installation on target machines so that you can maintain the gained access and connect to the target anytime you so wish. There are a few tools in Kali Linux that assist us in maintaining access and as well as privilege escalation so let's just take a look at these very very briefly. The first one is Mimikatz which is used to escalate privileges. Um, there's also the backdoor factory which assists you in, in putting backdoors on, on machines so that you can gain access at a later stage. Um, Mishang and Powersploit are tools that use the Microsoft PowerShell scripting language to assist you in also escalating privileges. And then finally there's a SMB exec which you use to attack the Active Directory uh, domain controller in a Windows environment so that you can get Active Directory credentials. Let's now move on to covering tracks. Covering tracks. So in this phase you need to take the necessary steps to hide the intrusion and possible controls you left behind for future visits. So it involves things like uh, removing all kinds of logs, uploaded backdoors and anything related to the attack so that the forensics teams don't know that you've been there. <clears throat> there are a few tools in Kali Linux um, that assist you with these and let's just take a look at them very briefly. There's Veil which assists you in, um, in hiding your tracks. There's SMB exec which we've mentioned before. Um, there obviously you need to clear the log files of any servers that you've accessed that show your access times, dates etc. And of course you also need to evade any anti-malware or anti virus solutions that the customer may have in place. And that pretty much sums up the uh, five phases of the uh, penetration testing frameworks. So let's take a look at them very very briefly again. Just to recap we have the reconnaissance phase followed by the scanning phase, then the gaining access phase, followed by maintaining access and then finally covering your tracks. This now ends this lesson on the phases of penetration testing.